Hello everyone, today I would like to talk about uh, headlamps and specifically a flaw that certain Princeton Tech brand headlamps have in their construction. Now Princeton Tech is a respected brand of headlamps. Um, they make a lot of different good styles that are applicable to a lot of different situations, uh, but some of their kind of cheaper models, uh, the, the Fuel and the Remix specifically have a flaw that I, I've personally experienced a number of times on probably two or three different headlamps here. So these are both Remixes. So normally the Princeton Tech Remix has a, this battery door here that keeps the batteries in place and makes the connections um, secure. And normally on this battery door, normally on this battery door there is an extension that would fit around and clip onto this region right here. This is how the clip that closes the battery door should look before it's broken or cracked. This is the Princeton Tech Fuel. And just due to the physical location of that, if you drop or bang this headlamp, it's really easy to, to break off. I've had it happen on like three different units. Um, so yeah, it's just basically an extension of that door that clips around that um, dimple there. And I, I've had literally had it happen on multiple different headlamps. It's been pretty frustrating. Now you can remedy the situation. It still works. I mean, I'm going to push it down and, you know, it still works. And you can fasten that with a little strip of duct tape. I've done that mostly. Or, you know, elastic bands of sorts, like high-end rubber bands or something like that. And I'm sure it'd be fine, but it's just annoying because I feel like with, you know, using duct tape, it's kind of going to slip lose its grip or you know elastic bands will kind of wear out so it's still fully functional it's a really nice headlamp but just that little extension of the battery door that holds everything into place and uh, keeps the electrical electrical connection secure it just it's very easy for that to break i've had it happen on multiple units i mean it's almost the exact same break i mean not identical but same style happen on this one as well. And I'm, I'm not rough on headlamps, I don't think particularly, any any more than anyone else would be. And you would expect, you know, a degree of rugged durability. So it's not like it's an absurd um, situation to happen. But if you look at the location of it, it's kind of a vulnerable spot. I mean, if this falls off your head or you bump something, I mean, no, normally these, I think, were all drops of just the headlamp and it just kind of falls naturally the weight of the headlamp allows that to happen and it falls at that angle and if it just hits any kind of firm surface on that angle that cracks off i mean i've had it happen like i said on three different units so this is a fatal flaw and i'm only aware of it on the fuel and remix units uh models excuse me of princeton that princeton tech offers now there are some other ones on a much more positive note that I really like by Princeton Tech that have a much better secure uh, battery access area. So this is the Viz, V-I-Z-Z, -Z, and they make it a lot of different options and iterations of this one. You can use your hand to remove the rest. And then um, just kind of prize open. And there it is, standard kind of three AAA batteries, but you can imagine that this kind of metal screw on the back is not going to be a point that's going to be um, vulnerable as that other battery opening clip area is. So I really like the screw on back, and all the Viz models have that. I'm a huge fan of them. There's, Like I said, there's a ton of different iterations and styles of them, and they just have this screw on back opening to access the battery compartment um, and this is kind of a more obscure Princeton Tech model this is like the, the EOS it's R um, this one's like a water resistant 
kind of like the Viz though, it has the same style, like that screw on back to access the battery compartment. And I really like that. I think that just provides a lot more security and it's just not a weak point. I mean, I've like I said, I've lost three of the other units to that weird plastic clip. So I really like this EOS model as well as the Viz. I think they're much more secure options. They don't have that kind of fatal flaw that you see in the Remix here. You can see two of them have just broken and falling. Both of those, like I said, you could use duct tape or kind of elastic band to hold it in place because they both still work. Fully functional headlamps. It's just you need to depress this battery cap that would normally be held in by a clip. So, and then I have one more obscure Princeton Tech to display and that's um, the Aurora, which is kind of strange to me, but Uh, this one you kind of just pry apart. There's no real solid There's no real salt. It's, it's kind of confusing for me to open just kind of Pry it open I don't know this one's kind of an oddball some of these are a little old um, I really like this model except for that really terrible inconvenient flaw so with Princeton Tech, um, I would definitely go with something like the Viz that has that screwed on um, battery compartment that's kind of on the back. Just It's not in a point where if it were to fall, it would be super vulnerable. So I love the Viz and there's a lot of different iterations of that. And I'll make another video where I go through all the different features of the different headlamps as well as different brands like Petzl. Um, there's other brands like Black Diamond, so I'll make a more comprehensive uh, headlamp video, but really just I want to prevent people from purchasing something like this, like the like the Remix or the Fuel. You spend 20, 30 bucks on a headlamp, you go somewhere, it drops, and it's broken right away. Although you can, like I said, hold it together. You still don't expect that when you get something brand new. So she said that's high quality like this brand, so... Um, I would stay away from the Remix or the Fuel models from Princeton Tech, and I would gravitate towards something like the Viz of any, I guess they make them in different models and iterations, so I really like the Viz, and I would go toward that. So um, thanks everyone for watching, and stay tuned for more headlamp videos.